Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today's video, it's all about my Sephora loves list. So I was on my phone, on my Sephora app the other day, and I was just kind of like browsing new makeup, and then I saw that Addison Rae came out with a line, then I found myself in my loves list, and I was scrolling through my loves list, and I was literally about to like take some things out, and I thought, wait a minute, I'm always adding to and removing things from my Sephora loves list, so I thought that was something we could just do together. Like, I'll just go through, I'll tell you what's on my list, and I'll let you you know is this something that I think I want to leave on here perhaps pick up in the future or after thinking about it am I able to remove it and if you are new here hello and welcome my name is Kelly and I love all things makeup and beauty I love talking I love makeup I love talking about makeup so if you like to chat about makeup too and if you like to shop at Sephora this is the video for you I would love to have you subscribe and be part of the K Bella fam but why don't we go ahead and jump into the video Okay, so I did tuck my hair behind my ears, otherwise I'm going to be messing with it the entire time. And I'm also going to scoot over a little bit because I am going to try, I'm going to try to like screenshot my phone, not even screenshot it, like video record it because I have the iPhone and show you my Sephora loves list and we can talk about it together. So let me go ahead and set that up and we will start with what's on the top and just kind of work my way down. So when I was looking today, I was taking a look at the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. It's $42 and I think I would be the shade 3.5 light with neutral undertones. When I tried to do the shade finder thing, like sometimes it told me three, which was like light with warm undertones, but I'm more neutral. And then like a couple times it told me one and I was like, I'm, I'm pretty light but not usually the lightest of the light. So I kind of wanted to pick this up because I've heard Karen Harris talk about it and Glam Girl Chelsea, so it's on my radar. I am interested in it, so I made sure to add that to my loves list. I also added the Biosense SPF. It's the Squalene and Zinc Sheer Mineral Oil Sunscreen for $30. I just added this recently after seeing Lauren from The Honest Beauty Review talk about this sunscreen. I've heard several people talk about Biosense, so I thought, you know what? Let's put that on my loves list. Again, Kosas, their concealer, the Creamy and Brightening Concealer, $28. I heard Glam Girl Chelsea talking about it, so I'm interested in picking it up. None of those are things, well actually, I take that back. I think I did purchase the Biosense. I just made an online order and I think I purchased that, but none of the others are, like the two other Kosas products, I'm not like jumping on them right now, but they're on my radar. I also am being haunted by the next two, okay? So the Dior Forever Natural Powder Bronzer. I think I would be in shade five, it's $48. I have my eyes on that one. That has been haunting me. I never picked it up. I saw a ton of people talking about it. Now it's at Sephora, so it would be something that I would pick up like during the Sephora VIB sale or friends and family sale, a sale because it's $48. But that has been haunting me as well as the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Glowy Tinted Hydrator Foundation. That's a mouthful. So it's basically a tinted moisturizer. It's $29, it's supposed to be light coverage. It's called like a hydrator foundation, but I've heard people say that it's in like the tinted moisturizer category. I think I'm the shade light neutral 30. This is one where I've heard really good things about it. I'm not really into tinted moisturizers. I pretty much am someone where like, if I'm wearing foundation, like I want it to look like foundation, but like natural, but foundation. Anyway, so this has been haunting me. It's been like popping up in my mind. I keep hearing people say that they really enjoy it. So I definitely want to pick that up. I also did, I think, <laughs> this is so bad when I'm saying I think to a purchase I just made. I think I ordered the Biosense SPF and I did order the Selfless by Hiram the Green Tea Hydrating Gel Cleanser for $20. Again, I heard Lauren from the Honest Beauty Review talking about the Hiram skincare line, and she said that she really enjoyed the cleanser, and I'm almost done with my Milk Makeup Cleanser, and I have been enjoying that. I would repurchase it, but I kind of wanted to try the Hiram one, and it's more affordable at $20. So I definitely picked that up, added to cart. Then I have 
three lipsticks by Bite Beauty on here. Now, will I be ordering all three? No, but I really enjoyed the Bite Beauty formula before and I know they like reformulated and now they're vegan and clean at Sephora. I don't remember if they were clean before. I feel like they were. Anyway, they came back out with their lipsticks for $28 and the, th oh, I don't have three Bite Beauties on here. <laughs> Way to go, Kelly. I have two shades and then a NARS lipstick. So, the two shades that I'm interested in in Bite Beauty are Praline, which is a honey nude, and Sugar Buns, which is a pink nude. So I would probably lean more to Sugar Buns, but I, I wanna see them in store. So they're on my loves list like to remind me of them, but I wanna see them on, in store. The other lipstick that I have is a NARS Audacious lipstick in the shade Barbara, which is a tan rose for $34. I think I saw someone wearing this one. But now I don't remember who it was. I had the NARS Audacious lipsticks before. I had Anna and Anita, and I really enjoyed the formula. It's more expensive for a lipstick, but I feel like I saw someone wearing Barbara, and that's what made me put it on my loves list. I just can't remember who. I also have, uh, for $28, one of the natural cream bronzers from Say. It's the light bronze, so fair to light skin tone. I have not been enjoying creams. I've been wanting to enjoy creams, but I don't. But this is one of those bronzers where I could go in with a brush and apply it that way, similar to the NARS one that came out, but the NARS one I think was limited edition. So I'm still interested in trying this product by Say, but I don't know that I'm gonna jump on it just yet. I think it's something that like, I might hold off on for a minute and kind of see, but it's I'm keeping it on there. I wanna keep it on there for now. What I do think I am going to remove is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer. Oh, well I might leave this one on here. I thought that this was the cream one and if it was the cream one I was gonna take it off, but it's not. I think it's the powder one in light to medium for $28. So we can leave that on there. I also think I'm going to leave the Paula's Choice SPF 50 for $33. I am trying the Biosans, so we will see how that goes. I'm just kind of wanting to try like different SPFs. I live in Texas, so like I need to protect myself from the sun. I'm a natural redhead. So I would like to try the Paula's Choice in the future. My friend Emily from Emily's Makeup Bag really enjoyed that one, so I'm going to keep that on here. I don't know what to do about these three Shiseido foundations. So two of them are the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation with SPF 30. And I heard people talking about these. One of them is out of stock right now. I don't know what shade I would be, 160 or 210, but they're on sale right now. And I don't know why. It's an Allure Beauty favorite. I think I'm gonna keep them on there but then I have another one, the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation in 220. I like to do the, the shade finders, but I find that they're not always exact. So I don't know what my shade would be. I think I'm going to remove the Radiant Lifting one, the one that's not the Allure one and keep the other two because I think I still wanna try that foundation. I'm just not sure which shade I would be. I would have to spend more time to try and figure that out. Lawless, their Satin Lux Classic Cream Lipstick in Wedding Day for $28. I'm gonna keep this on here. I've heard a few people talk about it. I haven't tried a ton from the brand, but I've heard about the Wedding Day shade and I am a sucker for a pinky nude. The Urban Decay Naked Wild West. This is $49. <laughs> This is another one that has been haunting me, like the Dior bronzer, haunting me. Like, I want it. I want it so bad, but Urban Decay is one of those brands that always go on sale, so I've been waiting. I have been waiting for the Naked Wild West to, at some point, be like $27 or $28. It has not happened yet, but I'm going to keep this on here in hopes that it does, and when it does go on sale, I will purchase it, but I'm not going to purchase it for full price. I can remove the Pharmacy Feeling Good Hyaluronic Plumping Serum for $44 because I actually was able to try that from Look Fantastic. The Huda Beauty Lip Contour Pencil for $19 in Muted Pink. I think I'm gonna remove that because like lip liners, like I have a ton of them. 
I have a ton of lipsticks too, but lip liners, I have a ton of them, so I'm gonna remove that. I'm interested in trying one of the Huda Beauty lipsticks. I have two of them picked out, Joyride and Staycation. One is more cool toned, Oh, they're both cool toned. Okay, so Joyride is like a dusty rose cool toned and Staycation is more of a muted beige cool toned. These ones are the mattes. So not like the new ones that they just came out with, but the matte version. I like more of a matte lip. I feel like I had the newer ones on here as well. They might be down a little bit further, but I am going to leave those on there. I have a couple lipsticks from Gucci that I'll probably never purchase because they're $42, but one is shade 102 and the other one is shade 201. I heard Morgan Turner talking about the Gucci lipsticks. These are ones that I probably will not purchase, but I'm going to leave them on here and be fancy. I do really want to try the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick in Very Victoria for $34. I have heard Samantha March talk about it for years. Definitely want to keep that on there. I also have two of the Laura Mercier blushes. Now these were meant now these were blushes that I heard about from Charlotte Holdcroft. She loves the blushes. I picked out two of them. Ginger is like a matte pale nude and Chai is a matte dirty rose. I think I'm gonna remove ginger because I have the Vive blush in Pesca, which is more of like an orangey peachy shade. And I think Chai, the Dirty Rose, would be more up my alley. So I'm going to leave that on there because I do want to try that blush. Here's where the other Huda stuff comes in. So the other lip pencil that I hearted or flagged was Pinky Brown. I think I might keep that on here. I probably won't purchase it. But if I were to get one of the lip pencils, that would be the shade that I would want. And then I do have three of the new like creamy lipstick formulas on here. So Money Maker, which is a medium rose brown, Baby Face, which is a medium nude plum, and Buttercup, which is a light pink nude. I think I'm gonna take Buttercup off because that one is like super light. If I were to purchase one, I would either want Money Maker or Baby Face, so I will leave them on there. I also have a couple hair products. So I have Bumble and Bumble, the Sunday Clarifying Shampoo. I'm gonna leave this on there because I am looking for like a really good shampoo to just like clean all of the gunk out because I don't wash my hair very often. So I'm gonna leave that on there. I'm also going to leave the Biosense Squalene Oil for $32. I've heard several people talk about it, so I'm going to leave that sitting on there. And the Briogeo Superfoods Banana and Coconut Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. I, I still want to try it out, but I mentioned the reason why I haven't purchased it is because one of my girlfriends is allergic to banana and we work together. So I see her every day. So actually, I probably will remove that because I don't think I'm going to ever pick that up. Then I have a couple Melt Cosmetics products. One is the Stargazer Soft Nude Champagne Highlighter and the Blush in Honey Thief. I don't think I'll pick up the highlighter, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that, but I am gonna leave the blush on there. This is not the cream one, it's the powder one in Honey Thief. It's out of stock, it's $22. I'm just gonna leave it sitting on here. The Cinema Secrets Makeup brush cleaner mini for $10. I'm going to remove that. I always have good intentions of getting like those spray cleaner products and using it, but I picked one up by Beauty Blender from Look Fantastic and I haven't used it. I have used it maybe a couple times in the middle of cleaning, like in the middle of using brushes to clean it, but really I don't use it. So I don't think I would use the Cinema Secret Secrets either. Benefit Cosmetics, they have the Cheek Stars Reunion, like huge palette with Dallas Blush, Sugar Bomb Cookie, Georgia, Hula. It's $60 and I wish that I snagged this when it was for $30. I saw it on sale for $30 one time and I didn't pick it up. And then the day that I went to order, which was like a couple days after seeing that it was on sale, it was no longer on sale. So I will not spend $60 on it, but I have it on here because if it goes on sale again, I want to pick it up. Tom Ford Trace List a Soft Matte Foundation for $88. Kind of interested in it. Thinking about picking it up, I think I'm in the shade 2.7. This is one where I would for sure get it on sale, but I'm going to leave it on there. The Sig Magic Brush Cleanser Scrub for $25. I'm going to remove that because I already have my beauty 
Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid, and that's working well for me. I also did try a sample size of the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. I got a sample size and I really enjoyed it, but I don't think I can bring myself to purchase it for $54. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. The Armani Power Fabric Concealer for $34. I think I would be in the shade, well, I think I might be lighter. So it's 3.5 light to medium with a neutral undertone, but I think I would want something lighter because I would use it for my under eyes. Morgan Turner was the one who recommended that to me, so I'm gonna keep it in here. But if I do purchase it, I think I would go a shade lighter. These next two eyeshadow palettes, they've been on my wish list for a while, and I'm gonna leave them both on here because they're still on my wish list. But it's the Melt Cosmetics Rust Eyeshadow Palette and Natasha Denona Metropolis. I do want both of them still, but I would want to pick them up on sale. So I'm gonna leave that in here. The Herbivore, I don't know how you say this, uh, the Retinol Alternative. I think I heard Samantha March talking about this. I It's a retinol alternative, and I don't want to use retinol because I, I don't want to use it because I want to get pregnant. <laughs> I'm not pregnant now, but my husband and I want to have another child, so I haven't let myself use retinol because I don't want to love it and then have to stop it when I get pregnant. So this was the alternative. I'm going to leave it on here. I don't know that this is something that I'll ac actually purchase at some point, but we'll leave it on here in case I want to. The Charlotte Tilbury Ma Magic Vanish Color Corrector. This would be like a color corrector that I would use underneath foundation. So I'm gonna leave this on here. Haven't purchased it yet, but I want to. I am going to take off the Pharmacy Clean Bee Ultra Cleansing Facial Cleanser. I really enjoy Pharmacy, but I'm just not that interested in that cleanser right now. There are some other ones that I'm trying. I really enjoyed the Milk Makeup one. I'm also going to take off the First Aid Beauty Niacinamide Bright Brightening Eye Cream because I just picked up the Pharmacy Eye Cream and I want to try that one out first. I also am going to take off the Lawless Set the Stage Hydrating Primer Serum because that's $48 and I would rather like try a hydrating primer that's less expensive and get like a foundation that's more expensive. I also think I'm gonna take off the ABH Pro Pencil. It's one of those pencils that I thought I would use to carve out my brows, and I just use concealer. So we're gonna take that off. The Drunk Elephant SPF 30, I'm going to leave that on there. I'm also gonna leave the Sunday Riley Pink Drink Firming Resurfacing Essence. I heard someone talk about this. I don't remember who talked about it, but someone talked about it, and they liked it. So I'm gonna leave that on there. I'm also gonna leave the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. That is something that I wanna try out. I think I might be in the shade Custard, so I will leave that on there. The Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand, if that ever comes back in stock, I would like to pick it up, so I'm gonna leave that on there. I heard Kathleen Lights talk about the Cucumber Herbal Conditioning Cleanser by Kiehl's, but this was one of those cleansers where it was like, beware of the eye area. So I think I'm gonna take that off. I did really enjoy the Milk one and the Philosophy. Those are the two that I like the most right now. The Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream, I'm going to remove that just because I wanna try the Pharmacy Eye Cream. The Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Foundation, I do wanna try this, so I'm gonna leave that on there. I really did enjoy my Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer, so I'm gonna leave that on here. I purchased this and used it all up, so I'm gonna keep that one on there to repurchase at some point. The NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This is one where I feel like I tried it several years ago and I don't remember if I liked it or not, so I'm gonna leave it on here because I'd be interested in trying it again. This is one where I hope Sephora starts giving out samples again because I would wanna try a sample. I also do enjoy the Fresh Sugar Hydrating Lip Balms. I've gotten them in samples before, so I'm gonna leave that on there. The Charlotte Tilbury Setting Powder. I'm going to remove this because, although I've wanted to try it for a really long time, I have the Dior powder, and I feel like, as someone with dry skin who just sets underneath my eyes, I feel like a like a pressed powder is not the way to go, a loose powder is, so that's why I'm gonna take that one off. The Origins Checks and Balance Face Wash. I've tried that before and I really like it, so I'm gonna leave that on there. 
but I am going to remove the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream because I just don't see myself trying that. It's been sitting on my loves list for a while and I don't see myself trying that. So I'm gonna take that one off and I am going to leave the Color Switch by Viramona Brush Cleaner. I need to pick one up. I really do because I think I'm more likely to use that than a product that's like a spray where I spray my brush and wipe it off. So that is it guys. That is what is on my loves list. I'm keeping the majority of those things. Like I said, they aren't all things that I'm like running out to purchase right now, but they're all items that I have my eye on that I would be interested in picking up. So hopefully this was interesting, cleaning out my Sephora loves list. Let me know if you have tried any of the products on my loves list. I would love to hear your opinion. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Should I remove them? I also am interested in hearing some items that are on your loves list. So let me know in the comments down below what items you have your eye on. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed before you go. That way I can see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.